Well, hi there, YouTube. So recently, somebody left a comment on my Advice to Parents HIV video, saying that basically, um, well, if you would just abstain from sex, you won't get AIDS, and you won't get pregnant and all that stuff. And I agree, and I agree completely. Abstinence is the only 100% foolproof way to not get or receive an STD or get pregnant. And that is completely correct. But the thing is, is that it's not realistic. Um, in a previous video, I talked about talking to your kids about sex and about when sex education s should start. When a kid asks where do babies come from, or if you happen to catch them playing doctor, or nudist colony, as I've heard some people did as children. Um, And I see abstinence teaching at, or I say, of you um, saying, well, it's our belief to save it for marriage, um, as part of a family values type thing. And I fully support teaching your family values, um, because a tight knit family has been shown to reduce um, a lot of negative things. A close family. People who are in a close family are less likely to engage in criminal activity, are more likely to get better grades, and overall, good fam good strong families make for good strong people. Or at least from what I've seen, yeah, I know that the numbers vary quite a bit depending on where you're at and so forth and so on. Um, but the thing is, as I noted, it's not realistic. So poor abstinence. Abstinence, but when I say abstinence, I mean 100% abstinence. Some teenagers think, well, I'm abstinent, I only engaged in anal, anal intercourse. A lot of teenagers view abstinence as only covering coitus, aka what some people call normal sex, um, heterosexual penal vaginal intercourse. But true abstinence means there is no inter there is no penal va vaginal intercourse, there is no anal intercourse of any kind, be it a finger, a dick, or what. Um, there is no cunnilingus, there is no analingus, there is no fellatio. Um, for, any, for those people who think that those words are a little bit big, there is no muff diving, there is no blowjobs, there is no ass licking. There is no manual stimulation, otherwise known as a hand job or as going under the pretty pink panties. Um, yeah. If you abstain from all that, you won't get an STD and you won't get pregnant. But let me ask you, really? No, really. Come on. Come on closer. You can be truthful with me. When was the first time you actually touched a member of the opposite sex or the same sex as genitals? I bet you were a teenager. Or in your early 20s at the latest. Very few people stay abstinent until complete and full marriage. Which is why it's not realistic. Recently, there was an 8th grader, I think down in Florida. Um, I'll get find the Young Turks link and put it below. Who was shamed. Basically, slut shamed. Because she got pregnant. An eighth grader got pregnant. I bet she was taught abstinence only. Now, yes, that's an exaggeration. I'm just saying that. But I hope you're getting my point. If that kid was not taught how to avoid getting pregnant by condoms, diaphragms, spermicide, plan B, um, birth control pills, any of the number of contraceptives that we have, that's what it leads to. Children having children. When you're giving your talk to your kids, say, yeah, you know, this is our family value, but it's not shameful if you decide that's not right for you. What it boils down to is that engage in sexual activity when you feel you're ready. And when you do, use protection. If you are engaging in a heterosexual activity, like penal vaginal, or anal, penal anal, for in a heterosexual circumstance. Wrap it before you tap it. Put a condom on. Make sure you got your birth control working. 
Um, if you have absolutely no desire to have children and you happen to be a heterosexual woman, get an IUD, an intrauterine device. Um, NuvaRing, that little T thing that goes up into your uterus that prevents you from having, um, that prevent, that prevents an egg from attaching inside your uterus. Um, that's an IUD, an intrauterine device. Um, have your plan B available. Have your plan B, those little pills that stop, um, a zygote, a fertilized egg from implanting in your uterus. Or simple enough, use condoms. If you happen to be homosexual, use condoms, especially you, you young men out there. Condoms, condoms, condoms. And for the young lesbian ladies, dental dams, shade of latex, a sheet of latex, or at minimum, scrub your fingers afterwards. Scrub your fingers, wash your hands really well afterwards. Lesbians are in the lowest category for STDs. It's just because of how we make love. But even us ladies can take pr can take steps to prevent the spread of disease. When you're a teenager, you have hormones coming out your here, there, and everywhere. Abstinence is not realistic. Saving it for when you are ready is. I didn't give up my B card. I never. I did not engage in sex in receptive sexual activity until I was 21 because I was ready then pretty much what it boils down I realize I just said that already um, save it for when you're ready and when you're ready for the love of Mike use some latex condoms dental dams scrub your hands scrub your junk um, abstinence is not realistic as a family value, especially to teach to little ones, it's a good idea. Save it for somebody that you love. Save it for somebody that you care about that much. But when you do do it, use protection. Peace out, YouTubes.